So we're talking to Ryler, McKenna, and Mark today about math. Um, and what do you guys um, what do you guys do in math when it's math time in the classroom? What happens? Um, well, whenever it's math time in our classroom, we normally do the math with them. Then at reading time, um, Mr. Mitchell takes us out to the commons to do advanced math. And right now we're working on algebra, but not like algebra, algebra, like all the topics of different grades. Yeah, and kind of just helping us learn it, and then we get to go into actual algebra. Okay, so how, what are you using to learn it with? What tools are you doing? Um, like, right, what are you? Khan Academy, okay. I Excel. Okay. And then Drawing Box. Because in Drawing Box, you can write out the problems and then run up. Right now, I'm doing expression. I'm doing variables, so they give you a letter that you have to find out what it is. What are you showing me on your screen there? Um, well, here are all the topics. There's addition to all the way down to word problems, and there's everything else, everything you would want to do. And topics, say I click on algebra, then it gives me third grade skills, fourth grade skills, and all of them up to actual algebra. And then you can also go to grades, which is just pre-K to geometry. So you're using um, drawing pad, drawing box to write out the equations instead of doing it all mentally. You're you're doing it like you're like you'd write it on paper, so. Yeah. Okay. And you find that helps you to do the equations easier. Yeah. Um, McKenna, what's going on with Khan Academy there? Well, um, in Khan Academy, there's so much. There's a whole bunch of math subjects. There's arithmetic, algebra, and all this stuff. And then there's also science videos, which helps you with all of that. In algebra, there's all these different other kinds of algebras. And then, say I want to do lunar fractions, there's a whole bunch of lunar fraction ones too. There's 62 videos in that one. And you can watch any of these, and they all have to do with just little different types. Like in, back in lunar fraction, there's different kinds that it's teaching you instead of putting it all into one really long video. Mm -hmm. um, they put it into little shorter videos about different kinds. So if you had a question about variables, could you look it up on there and find out a video that would help you with that? Yeah, if you go to algebra and find variables somewhere in here, and you can go from addition and subtracting, subtracting, all the way to stuff in trigonometry and calculus and all that. And you can do that at home too. Yeah, it's it. And on the iPad, if you go to Safari and say you have this really cool website, but you don't want to always have to go into Safari and type it in, if you press this button, you can add it to the home screen. Of course, I've already added IXL and Khan Academy, but if you ever have a website that you want it, like have it to where it's just like an app right here. You can add it, like we added the, the class schedule. Yes, and it looks like you're in, in movie math. Is that where you're at? Yes. Okay, so can you kind of explain what you're doing in that? Well, right now I am doing fast facts. Fast facts, you only have six seconds to answer each problem. As you see, you have to try to get as quick as you can. If you get one wrong, let's say this is one, Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the asking 
Whichever one you want to go to, say you like division, you can do anything, any kind of division facts, or you can hit all facts, and then you can go from 30 seconds to 3 seconds, and speed mode is, is um, if you, it's off, it's like whenever you get one night, it comes up with just like confetti shooting up on the screen, or like, um, a whole bunch of like balls rolling everywhere and just stuff that's kind of like woohoo you got it right but then if you turn it off i mean on off it's where you can just go through all the facts and it doesn't do all that so you don't have to be like you do one answer and then it's like woohoo and then you're like ah oh, and you keep on having to press the same button like next 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 it's just where you hit the answer it goes to the next one hits the answer and then if you get one wrong like say i start and say I hit four, mm -hmm. it'll say it'll give this incorrect and all that, and it says what it really is. And then say I don't understand, it shows you the back of the card, and then it explains what the correct answer is. So you guys are using Fast Facts, which is an app, and you're using Khan Academy, which is online, right? Or it can be an app. Yeah, if yeah. you add it. Uh, if you add it, yeah. And then yeah. there's um, uh, Moby Math. Which is a website. On iPad, you can make it a Pokemon. Right. And then also IXL. Yep. So there are four choices that you have for math. Um, do you find yourself using them sometimes when you are um, just have extra time? Yeah. Yeah, I've done them total since um, uh, Moby Math's part of our homework. Like, one of them bored, and then I'll just do So it gives you a chance to do more than you would normally do in school. Yes. Yeah. Does it make you a better math student? Yeah, because you can always work on what you need to work on. And on Moby Math, it keeps on making you do that until you get it. And then whenever you get up to a 70 in Moby Math at least, it says, sorry, better luck next time. But then it moves you on because it knows you're just like right on the edge of completing it and getting it, and it doesn't need to help you anymore. Well, and it's ignored. So it keep, you keep practicing until you get it right. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you think you have to be um, advanced at math to do this, or would it help anybody at any level? It would yeah. help anyone. It could it could help a preschooler that's just learning how to add to, to a college. Yeah. But it can give you a huge head start if you just, whenever you're littler, go home and like do this and I excel and all of that. Like every day, you will get like so high above your grade level, everybody will look at you in amazement while you just blast through everything. You guys are in fifth grade. Next year you're going to go to sixth grade, which is a middle school. Um, do you think you'll have an opportunity to use these kinds of tools and things in sixth grade? Not as much, because whenever, because yeah. um, all of the classes, it's like, and that's if you do this at home, yeah. which I'm, and I excel, and if, you're, if your account expires, you can't do anything about that. So then, and the teachers at the middle school don't pay for it, so you're going to have to have like your own account on IXL. And um, Moby Math, I don't know what it is with that, because we just started it this year, but we don't have iPads at the middle school. And you, any of them, you have to wait till you go home. Yeah. And even if you did do it at the middle school, you only have an hour. So do you feel like having the iPads means that you can just do this anytime during the day that you want to do it? It feels like you kind of have freedom to do whichever math you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You never have to worry about like, like being behind or ahead because it's not like you finish your math boxes on paper or something like that and the teacher is still explaining it to everybody else and you're like, oh, I want the next one, I want to keep on going. But with the iPads, if you finish what, what you're doing in class, 
and and you get it all, then you can just pick up an iPad and start doing fast facts or anything, and it can really help. At your own pace. Yeah. So everybody's kind of working at their own pace. Yeah, and it's a lot of help to people who really don't like IXL, and they're up for a challenge because you never know what you're going to do on Moby Math. It's okay, I finished this, what am I going to do next? And it could be hard, it could be easy. But, but Moby Math figures that out for you. Yeah. It comes yeah. on and tells you. Well, see, now you can go to um, IXL, you can click on every single drill and every single um, period, I mean, uh, grade level, and you can do it on my first year, then Moby Math will just keep finding um, um, lessons for you to help out and it's it's funner. I would pick Moby Math over IXL. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes whenever your teacher sends you drills on IXL, you like really don't get it and then you can get bad grades because you're sitting there and you've done like 200 problems and you're only at like 50, which gets you an F and you're just like, how do you do this? I don't and understand. that's kind of where Khan Academy comes in. Yeah. 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 And, and if okay, that explain is, that, Mark. That was fun. Um, well, if you don't get something in Khan Academy, it explains everything up to simple adding and subtracting to, they have it all the way up to trigonometry, calculus, and everything. So if you really don't get something that your teacher's telling you or you're, you don't get something that's on IXL or Moby Math, you can always just jump over there and figure out what it means. So it sounds like you guys have taken a lot of responsibility for yourselves. Would you say that was true? Yeah. Well, it's, you get older and you have to start being responsible. And if your parents do do a lot of work around the house or they're at work a lot and you have another sibling that's in a grade and really me, you're, you're kind of a survivor because you know, okay, I do this and you're doing that, so let me try and figure this out. So you're kind of a survivor. But this, doesn't it feel better to figure it out than to have somebody show it to you? Yeah. And when you, when you yeah. do it yourself, there's that sort of sense that you've accomplished something and then in spite of your eighth grade sibling. Yeah. Well, one thing about, but this is, I won't say definitely a minus, but this is just something that's what was weird when I got my first one problem on Moby Math. It'll give you the answer, which will you have to work it out. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it's, yeah, it says like, um, copy this down and you'll get partial credits, which is kind of um, dumb because it doesn't make you learn it. I mean, I think yeah. it should at least be try again but and try again and get partial credit. Yeah, but if you don't get it, there is a, on the top of the problem, there's a box and it has settings, log out, and then it has teach me, and the teach me is really useful because if you didn't really pay attention to the first part of it where they showed you, they can teach you how to do it again, and then you'll be, oh, okay, yeah, and then you can get a lot better scores. Any, anything else you guys want to talk about before we close up here? Um, well, if you about have, math, I mean. Yeah, if you have any problems in like Khan Academy, not Khan Academy, Moby Math or IXL, you, and you don't really pay attention to what they're telling you, you can Khan Academy is a big help with that because you can literally just find out what it is in less than three or four minutes. I like what you guys have figured that out, that, that it's not just one way to learn math, but there are a lot of ways to learn math, and if you just know where to go, it helps you a lot. Mm -hmm.